This was in reference to the Spangleberg 1986 paper where liquid urea did not result in equivalent quality as granular urea. Okay, and Chuck Benzing 134 asks or says, Hi, Dr. Shaddix. I'm a bit confused still after watching twice. In table two, when comparing liquid versus granular applied urea, judging the color rating difference, you point to cost as a motivating factor for a decision criteria between the two. However, in the materials and methods, the same 4600 was applied as either a granular or as a spray. Table one shows this as well. However, table two shows the granular applied urea always had a greater or equal color rating. Since the same amounts were applied at the same times, the same pounds in the ground, for the li I for the life of me cannot understand why there was be such a huge difference in the color rating. Can you speculate why this would be? Thank you for what you're doing here by bringing these studies to the community. P.S. Thanks for bringing them back the music outro. Oh, that's the reason I said put this in there. Thanks for bringing back the outro music. So basically what Chuck is asking is, I don't understand why there's such a huge difference between applying it as a liquid and applying it as a granular. Can you help help? explain this. Um, I'll try. Okay. That's all I'll say is I'll try. I don't know the answer to that. The authors in that paper just, just explained the, they just stated the results. They did not discuss that specific result. So they didn't speculate or try to, you know, postulate as to why that occurred. I don't know. First of all, I don't know why that happened. I'm sure you can look in the literature and find op the opposite information. You can find where foliar might've resulted in a greater response than granular in some cases. But what I will say is that just reading this comment and not knowing anything else about it, I'm, and I'm not a plant person, I'm a soil person at, at, at my core, but if you're applying urea, it's possible that the granular urea was more efficiently taken up into the plant through the roots than the foliar urea was taken in through the leaf tissue. Just thinking about it from a 10,000 foot level, the plant did not evolve to take nutrients in through the leaf, well, nitrogen in through the leaf. It evolved to take nitrogen in through the roots. That's how it evolved. And so it's possible, I don't know, that the, the efficient uptake was greater through the roots than through the leaves of urea. There's also possible, although we don't know, that the loss of urea could have been higher from the foliar application. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But if I were to postulate a reason in that paper, I would want to look into literature further to see if there's any evidence to support higher amounts of urea being lost via foliar application than via granular application. And then I'd want to look to see if the uh, uptake of urea through the roots is substantially greater than through the leaf tissue. And maybe perhaps that explains it, but I don't know.